now. Demand it. This is how we fucking hunt ghosts. And as we pointed out, and as we said, there are no ghosts. So this is where the ghosts live, from what we know. Uh, and they got home. <laughs> let me, let me see, let me try this. Gates, you may overtake my body. I accept you into my heart and soul. Please, if you are here, take control of me. Use me as a vessel. Gross. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. No ghosts. So I guess the lesson of Beaver Creek is there's no such thing as ghosts. There's no God, and the Bible is a lie. Off to Helltown to find out what the government's up to in the middle of fucking nowhere, Ohio. Hell yeah. Bumping out here. Can I get some of this safety herb in my lungs, please? And thank you, are welcome here. Jake, you can't have any because they drug test. Yeah, if you go to work, man, you're gonna get drug tested. Jake, you son of a bitch. You get out here. Hey, Jake. Ain't coming. He ain't coming because he's afraid of me. Brian Quincy from Street Fight Radio. Brett, would you like a shot at Jake? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I just it. fell in a hole. That was Jake. That was all Jake. I think Jake we found the that? ghost. Jake. Jake won't let you see your mentions. He's like, don't look at your phone while you're at work, motherfucker. Polite about it's just it. not the polite way to have yeah. sex. The, that's just I, I, really one way to have sex gonna, that's polite and it's to say, ma'am <laughs> or sir or non binary person, would you like to enjoy some making love with me? And then if they answer yes, then you mount that person and you move back and forth politely and then you <laughs> kind of finish it up and you say, that was great. And then you never mention it again. <laughs> That's that's the right way to have sex, okay? And folks, and that's why we don't do any sort of sex advice or sex stuff on this show because there's none to be given. <laughs> I am <for> wise! <laughs> I want you to write the polite sex book, like the proper polite method. I just like, said it. How many times have you gone into work and then looked at your boss and said, what are they doing? You ever think about the levels at a job, Brett? Of course, the people on the very bottom. What do they do? Usually clean. Yeah, and then there is the people just above them. They're the ones that do the second hardest job at the place, right? Deal with customers? Yeah, that sort of thing. And then there's another level above that, and that's the manager that's in the place. Now let's think about what comes after that, right? You might have a guy named like Glenn that comes to your office every six months, Lots and you have months. to lay out the red carpet for Glenn. Think about what the person above Glenn does. Uh, Jerry is the person above Glenn. Okay, right? okay. His job is basically going to lunch, right? Yeah, yeah, powerful meetings, <laughs> yeah. shaking hands real hard. We're gonna go up to the CEO now. The people that sit around a table and who knows what they're doing? Nobody knows what they talk about. Playing cards. What connection does that person have to what you do and what the customer gets? It just seems like you could really chop like five or six levels off of any job and the company would still run perfectly. Think about your job. Now imagine your manager isn't there. How much smoother would your day run? I mean, how many of you work a job where you don't even know who the fucking CEO is of the company? That means they're absolutely useless. They are just, they're parasites. They're on the top, getting most of the money, sending their kids to private school, driving the fanciest cars, and they can't make a sandwich. Every new level of hierarchy is more money coming out of your paycheck. Unions are fucking great because it's not HR. You need solidarity with the other workers. We need to use that and exercise that. You and your other workers are the most important people at that company. I mean, hell, the way I think about it, maybe you don't get a union at all and you just take the whole company away from the bosses and that's called a co-op. For the almighty dollar, everyone's a slave. What's, what's the point of doing shit if you ain't getting paid?
Can you imagine being that sensitive? Like you, well, that's like what, that is they're PC the ultimate. As hell. In, Hey, you know what? This is the freest goddamn country, and it's so free that if you don't stand up, you aren't a free person. And goddamn it, boy, if you don't stand up right now, you ain't free. Because this is, you have the freedom to do whatever you want. But I'm telling you, I have the freedom to make you feel bad for doing the freedom. Just get up and say you love it. Just get you know, right now, Copernic. God damn it. It's a free. It's so free that you can't do it. You have to. It's free because there's only one way to be. That's why it's free. So be that. Damn you. <laughs> they don't have anything yeah. to live. I mean, their kids hate them. They don't have, I mean, all their money got stolen by banksters and shit. Healthcare's running through the fucking roof. Oh my God, have you heard the news? Kids are dying of Kratom. That's not true. They're injecting it into their veins. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. An ABC Action News exclusive. A mom says a popular herb killed her son. The most recent death happened in early June. Kratom, also known as metrogenine, was one of four drugs blamed for his death. This was like the devil drug. It really is just a green powder that makes people feel better. Yeah, it's a leaf. It grows from the ground, you smash it up, you make a tea out of it, you throw it down the back of your throat, you eat some capsules, and you feel better, your mind's clear. And most people that use Kratom don't have access to healthcare or prescriptions or any of that regular degular medicine stuff. They get it from local stores or online. Let's, take, let's do an example here. You're a young person, you don't understand how all this works, so let me explain this to you. When you get hurt in your older age, let's say you're 34, you work on a roof, you fall off and you crush your fucking heel, right? It's all shattered. The doctor 10, 15 years ago was like, that's fucked up, that really hurts. You're gonna need some opioids to kill that pain. And then the DEA says, no, you're not get, you can't have those anymore. These doctors have to, tighten up their, their prescriptions. And now you don't have any, you can't afford them. What do you do? You can take Kratom. It has the same effects, it's less addictive, and it's more gross. So it, that even brings down the, uh, the use. You're not gonna use it as much. Kratom kills the pain in your body. It also cures social anxiety. The government's solution to stuff like this is always prohibition, which means putting more people in jail. How big is your appetite for the war on drugs? I'm sure it's small. It's, it's shrinking every single day. Don't let them continue it. Don't let them outlaw more stuff. Good point. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you probably hear people constantly talking about this horrible thing called capitalism. I have. Yeah, you've heard that? Yes. You're like, what? how does capitalism affect me? I will tell you, it runs your entire fucking life. You've probably heard of socialism or communism. Communism. And they say, they try to control your entire life. Your whole day is taken away from you. What control do you have over your day now? Most people have to be chained to a desk for 40 hours a week and they're not allowed to leave. When you wake up in the morning and you feel like
welcome to Street Fight Radio. This is a pre-recorded version. So if you're watching live on the stream right now, we cannot see your comments. Uh, this show is being recorded because right now we're working on our Means TV television show. We Means TV television, that's right. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot to say, but there's a lot to get in, and we have a lot of content ready. We're shooting and filming all of this in a very short amount of time, so we don't have extra extra uh, hours to spend doing the show right now we will return back to normal and you'll be able to watch our show on means tv in 2021 uh, but tonight we have a uh, special uh, a special video edition audio edition an amazing little video that someone sent to us um, i guess i should have wrote down who that was uh, this person actually they said who they were Hey y'all, I heard you were looking for work training videos. After my company slashed the shit out of our benefits and killed morale, our boss tried to inspire us to adapt to change by showing us the video, Who Moved My Cheese? During a Q&A afterwards, my boss was shocked to find out literally everyone interpreted the video as, you should quit this job and go find a better one. The poor guy looked so defeated by how bad it had backfired. Uh, this came from Long Tail Laser on... Twitter, long tie laser. I think it's only one. No, long tail laser. It is. Sorry. Thanks. Or long tall laser. It's tail. I just couldn't see that one in there. I ripped open a pore on my nose and it's bleeding. So if you're watching this video, uh, I will be dabbing blood off of my nose. I have my phone out as a mirror and I'm just making sure I don't want to be bleeding throughout the whole thing. Like Heavy metal freak. podcasting. Yeah. Who moved my cheese, man? I have never seen this before. Do you and know currently, the- I'm filming, and I've been a you know currently right now. I've been assured that right now I'm I'm probably sitting on set, as they say, and I have a refrigerator full of my favorite drinks and snacks. Uh, so things are going really well for me. I, I probably walked over to Brett's in the morning and uh, sat here all day. So. It's uh, uh, going well. Actually, if you ask me, you're probably looking at me on Twitter complaining and thinking like, this guy's, he's not having a good time, but yeah, I'm probably having a good time. Check uh, Street Fight WCRS on Instagram. I'll be posting updates as much as I can. I'll be uh, posting complaints <clears throat> as much as I possibly can. I will post all the complaining that I can possibly complain about. With who move with this show, but it's time to talk about who moved my cheese. Yeah, do you know the book Who Moved My Cheese? I've heard of the book Who Moved My Cheese. I think I was shown a, a Who Moved My Cheese video when I was working for a living. So I was actually handed the book uh, out of sales job, which I wasn't doing the best at because the jo- the the thing I was selling sucked. I had no idea what I was talking about, but I had this really obnoxious manager that was like Brett. You know, we have a skills library out there. You know that? And I was like, yeah, I've heard you talk about it. He's like, you know, you got to utilize it. Um, and I'm going to get you started. I went ahead and I grabbed a book for you that I think what? is great. And he's like, he's they, this guy was such an at con. He talked like that condescending asshole constantly. He whips out the book, presents it. And he's like, who moved my cheese? You know this one? And he like <laughs> smacks it. I'm like. No, I don't know. And he's like, I think you'll get a lot from it. There's a lot to there's a lot to learn in here. I want to hear what you think. Let me know. Let me know next week what you think. It's a short one. It's easy reading. So he had me read Who Moved My Cheese. You read it? I read Who Moved My Cheese. Oh God, I probably wouldn't have read it. I would have probably came in and lied and said it's about cheese, sir. I sir, like- I I, I uh, uh, opened the book and it seemed it was about cheese. Interesting. It's uh, don't ask me who moved the cheese though. I didn't I didn't get to the end quite yet. You didn't pick that up. That's, yeah. a, that's the mystery that you solve that's, at the end. That's a mystery. Yeah, you just go in there and tell them it's like a mystery. <laughs> I don't know, man. Do you it's... find out who moved the cheese by the end of the book? <laughs> yeah. um, well, you better. Well, the butler. Yeah, the butler did it. Colonel Mustard moved the cheese. Yes. Well, let's fucking, you know. So this is the condensed, this is the version they show you at work. Yeah. Let's get it rolling, I guess. I'll, I'll uh, uh, let's hear it. Oh, Brian, turn your sound on, you fuckhead. Hold on. Okay, so this is just like any other thing we do. I have to turn my sound on. You know, shit happens. This is real Shocktober type problem. Uh, all right, here we go. Matt 
cheese, where is it? Oh, that cheese, where is it? Who moved my cheese? Where'd it go? My cheese is missing. I don't know. I don't want to turn on the light to look for that cheese. It probably slipped <laughs> under the counter there. I'll get it. I'll get my cheese in the morning. <laughs> when I find it on the floor, I didn't want to turn on the lights. Because it would make me have to adjust my eyes. I got six pieces of cheese and six crackers, but now there's seven crackers and five pieces of cheese. It doesn't match, and now I'm wondering who moved my cheese. Did I grab an extra cracker or forget my cheese? <laughs> This is some weird fucking music for who moved my cheese. I love that low swing they get you into. You're like, all right, now this isn't like normal work stuff. This is a cool bebop lounge that I'm hanging out at. Light a cigarette, everybody. Get a Bud Light. Get a cocktail. Ladies, grab a cocktail. Get a, get an apple teeny for everybody. Who, who stole my cheese from the refrigerator? I'm checking my cheese pocket on my shirt. It's empty. I'm checking my plate. It's empty. So now I'm wondering, <laughs> where is my cheese? Oh, I can't wait to find out about this cheese. Let's find it. I just some shredded my voice. <laughs> Some of that new cheese. Yeah, go get some of that Those new cheese. You look like They're Mario down. Brothers. Who moved my cheese? Where is it? Who moved, Who moved my, my cheese? cheese? Yes, yes, yeah. Who moved my cheese? Where is it? Who moved my cheese? Why has it gone? Where is it? Where's my Once fucking cheese? Ago, he had some cheese. Where did it go? Characters that lived in a maze. Okay. Two were my. Who lives in a ma I would never move to a maze. Yeah, that's a bad choice. They fucked they made a bad they're already fucked up. I know, I know. I, I think that we solved the problem. They live in a maze. They live in a stupid. rat race. They're doing a rat race. <laughs> yeah. It's that's a stupid place to move. I you and know you're a mouse? Maybe you get tricked though. People always trick in mice. Yeah, they put them in a they they make them move into a maze that's like a segregated neighborhood. You know yeah, you know what roach you know what roaches call roach hotels? Just hotels. Yeah. They don't tell yeah. them it's for just for roaches. I think roaches call roach hotels death traps. Oh, really? Because that's they die in those. Oh, I always assume they thought they were like <laughs> gonna get a get some shut eye. Gonna check in and get in the hot tub in the big fucking uh champagne flute hot tub. Yep, you know? Yep. Yeah? No, no. They call it a death place. What what it's like if if we walked into a cave that the US military was bombing. That's yeah. what a roach motel is. What are these fucking idiot rats that moved into a, a maze? This really bums me out already. Only because I know this is about people at work. And what? they've basically decided that we're all rats in a maze. Yeah, that's which just, I've been saying that for 10 years on this podcast. They're like, Here's the problem. You're just a rat stuck in a maze. Yeah, just make peace with You're it. You're going to have to figure out something else. Yeah, make peace with living in this maze. Mice named Sniff and Scurry. Sniff and Scurry. And two were little people the size of mice. Their names were Hem and Ha. Oh, who's who? I'm, uh, 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 I need to go back just a slight bit. I need to see Hem and Ha. Hem is, he's blue. Let me look, let me look. And Sniff and Scurry. All right, here we go. And two were little people the size of mice. Their names were Hem <laughs> he's and Ha. I'm him, You're and him. I'm going to explain why I'm him. He looks tired. <laughs> he looks so out. My <laughs> gravity is doing a number on him. He just looks like he's being pulled down. Him, him is, and Brett is ha because he's goofing off Smiling at work through again. It. Yeah. That's a very pained smile that he has. He is. It is painful, it's, actually. He, no teeth are showing. He just moves the corner of his lips upwards to say... I'm happy. I'm happy to be in this maze. That really <laughs> tight lipped smile where your fucking lips are turning white because there's so much pressure on you. That kind of smile. Yeah. 
Oh boy, Hem and Hall. I'm I yeah. Okay. So now I have somebody to root for here. <laughs> now you got a team. Now we got a team. <laughs> now we got a superstar. <laughs> I, I hope Hem kills all the other people. Yeah, I think Hall's gonna gonna make his positive attitude's gonna get him through this, probably. Yeah, Hem's negative attitude's gonna not get him through anything. Which is that's how my life works though. I am somebody is always moving my cheese. Who moved my cheese? Was it you? I pull out a Derringer if you do. <laughs> I killed a man for less than stealing my cheese. So one, two, all right. <laughs> as different as the mice and little people were, they shared one thing in common. Each they all hated each other. <laughs> that was that's the, what they share in common. I had to answer that for the uh, uh, thing. They they uh, uh, as much as. As much as these guys have in common, they hate the fuck out of each other. When asked individually, they all revealed they thought everybody else living in the maze was stupid for moving to a maze. Oh, crumbs. Uh Uh-oh. All right. Uh, For Pete's sake. What's this freak show? Oh, no. No, that's a face-eating salesperson if I've ever seen one. Who moved my cheese? Somebody moved our cheese. Don't worry. Who moved our cheese? Don't worry. Who moved my cheese? cheese? Who, yes. Uh, yeah, we got almost got to listen to the song again. Imagine first. you're at the you're at the 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 back alley jazz club and some guys just riffing on who moved my cheese and you just run up and you're like let me let me jump on that and just start. I would go fucking bonkers. Rock if I went a Ford and blue. <laughs> you know I love you, Manchego. Let me be my baby tonight. Who moved my cheese? <laughs> I want to go to the Who Moved My Cheese Club. Oh, this all night long, they just do it over and over again, and you can yeah. just pop in for another round of Who Moved My Cheese, go smoke a cig, come back in. You get to decide who, you get to also probably find out who moved the cheese is the thing. That's true. At the end, they'll show. See what these guys' goals are other than hating each other. People were, they shared one thing in common. Each morning, they put on their running shoes and raced into the maze to look for their favorite cheese. Cheese being this whatever is... was most important to them. But nourished them and made them happy. Okay. okay. Now I need to know what I'm chasing in this maze. It's like Maze Runner. That, remember that Maze Runner movie? Yeah. yeah the, well, I don't think it's like that at all. I think that was this a like, dystopian future. Right. That's this is this also, is. too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm These saying. These motherfuckers put you in a maze and they say, the thing you love is on the other end of this maze. <laughs> It make you so happy. Cheese is anything you want it to be. It's just around the next corner of the maze. Yeah. I'm chasing some time off work, some paid time off work. This sounds like li- some PTO. I mean, this sounds this sounds pretty honest so far. This seems like a pretty fair take of uh working life so far. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm okay, so what I'm chasing as him uh is days off work and a lot more money. Money, basically, money. is what I'm chasing. Cheese is also another term for money, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's I what... always talk about how much cheese I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Sniff and Scurry, cheese was just cheese. That's right. But for him and Ha, cheese was more than just having something to eat. Okay. Finding it was a way of getting what they thought they needed. To them, cheese represented having security Ooh. or good health. Credit card debt. Or material things. Or whatever they believed would make them happy. Okay, so for humans, cheese is a totally different thing. Yeah, it's metaphorically cheese. See, I thought this was a mystery about where the cheese was. No, that's you thought you knew. This is this is how they get. This is how they teach you something. What a bummer! I thought this was what. Where's the cheese? I wanted to see. I wanted to see them shrink down two people and have them race against two mice to see who wanted the cheese more. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see. Somebody come in and say, where the fuck is my cheese? And then you spend 15 minutes figuring out where the fuck the cheese is. You know what I mean? Like, who took it? Who really took the cheese? Right. I thought this was about a lunchroom bandit. Wow. You've got a lot to learn. Yeah. We're very, very, very early into this. A lunchroom bandit. He came in. He stole somebody's cheese. And now we're fucking going to interrogate everybody in the office. Wouldn't that be great if that's how they dealt with that? Somebody's lunch gets stolen. They call everybody into a conference room and we fucking interrogate everybody until the lunch thief raises their hand. What a satisfying way to deal with the lunch thief. Lunch tribunals? <laughs> yeah. That should be guaranteed in union contracts. It feels more satisfying than just like, I think I know who it is. Yeah. 
but it ain't. It might not be them. You gotta get a mob together. Yeah, you gotta get everybody together and be like, "How'd you know to steal my lunch anyway?" You right. know, you're like, "I know what's his name likes Chinese food a lot. Let's go check into him." All right, let's see who moved this guy's cheese. For Ha, cheese meant living in a beautiful cottage with a loving family on Cheddar Lane. Whoa, that's I mean, Brett. Dog, you're not, you're not gonna find cheese that. Cheese meant being a big cheese, owning a mansion atop Camembert Hill. Sniff and Scurry had good instincts. Hem is just like me. I want a big mansion on top of Cheddar Hill. It wasn't Cheddar. Hemford. <laughs> it was, uh, what was it? Oh, I forgot the name. It was, a, I, it was I don't a, know. I, I want to just name of Camembert. I want to buy um, Camel Bear cheese. And, you know, living in Columbus, Ohio, I want to buy Eric Clapton's house. OK, that's that circus house. Hem. Is yeah, that- circus house I could buy. But I think I'd rather have Eric Clapton's house so that I can invite people over and say. This is Eric Clapton's house. Yeah. If I had three point one million dollars right now, I'd buy Anthony Cumia's house. <laughs> He's got it up for sale, which that'll date this. But uh-huh. I'm just letting everybody know that if I had $3.1 million, I'd buy that and I'd turn it into Shocktober Enterprises. Okay. <laughs> so let's make sure Brian doesn't get $3 million. Snip would smell out the general direction of the cheese and Scurry would race ahead. I like that. But Ham and Ha had complex brains with beliefs and emotions that made finding their way in the maze more what? complicated and challenging. This isn't fair. Yeah. This is some Jordan Peterson ass lobster bullshit. This makes me want to be a mouse more than anything. Yeah, this makes me want to be one of the rats. Uh, the, these mi- these mice know how to find fucking cheese. These tiny humans that were now oh they're stuck this size. Surprise! We didn't know that we couldn't get them back. So now they live in a maze and we test them every day. Yeah, I think I I, I think like I'm I'm trying to think. I want to be one of the rats now. I mean, they know how to get cheese, through the thing. They got the sniffer for it. Yeah. And cheese is their cheese. You know what I'm saying? Right, cheese is their cheese. <laughs> yeah, cheese, cheese is their cheese. Cheese isn't, isn't like a grotto on the hill. It's yeah. just fucking food to eat. It's cheese. Yeah. So they're amped about cheese, number one. So- <laughs> the, the thing they want the most is cheese. And what? And, what and they know how to get to it faster than Ham and Hall. And what I'm hearing right now uh, so far is they seem to suggest that it's a bad idea to want anything more than cheese. Right. So it kind of seems like you need to live like the rat that you are and just look for cheese, you dummy. Well, the just truth get, is, go get cheese. You're never going to get a fucking house in a car. I think me and you are the rats in this situation. Really? Because we, we don't really have real jobs. Yeah, we, we just, just go do, for cheese. We just do for this. money. I just we don't go care work. about anything but the cheese and not having to fucking work. You know? Okay, maybe. <laughs> I don't think we're hem and haw at all in this. We don't have the ability for complex thought. Okay, we just go where the cheese is. <laughs> Neither one of us want, really want a mansion, you know? True. I would stay in my I, apartment I, for the rest of my goddamn life. Yes, I actually have my mansion now. Yeah. It's, this is enough for me. <laughs> Too much space. Yeah. Right. I got a mansion-sized couch already. Like, what do yeah. I need a mansion for? Yeah, that get yeah right. That getting stuck uh, trying to get more is just will fuck you up. Yeah, I'm a fucking mouse. Other than trusting their instincts, they relied on guidebooks and maps to help find their way in the maze. Okay, idiots. I see that in their own way. All four characters discovered what they were looking for. Oh, they found their cheese. Eventually, each one arrived at Cheese Station okay. C and discovered their own special cheese. Baby Bell, they ate Baby Bell. Sniff and Scurry woke early every day They're getting and bought ran off the cheap. same route through the maze to Cheese Station C. Okay, see, here's the thing. Sniff and Scurry woke up every day and they ran the same route to Station C, the cheese place. That's smart. That's, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't wake up early. It seems like there's enough cheese gonna there. It's going to be there. Yeah, it, it seems like there's a, there's only four of you in there. Yeah. Him and Hall can't eat all that cheese. I, they wouldn't even be able to shit. People, if you're watching the video, there's no hours posted either. So, no. yeah, you can come there at three in the morning and just grab a go for a midnight stroll. Yeah, not even a door. There's not even a fucking door on the cheese. And it's in the same place every day. Uh, I don't I don't give a fuck. The other thing is also like you're a human and you got these mice are running to go get cheese. You're reading guidebooks. Just let the mouse do the work. We would make animals mouse. do the work forever. 
Yeah. Follow your instincts, hey, uh, evolved man. Hey, Sniff and Scurry, can you bring some cheese back yeah. for me <laughs> and haul too? They're stupid. Yeah, they're dogs, man. They're dumbass animals. Just bring me a little bit too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the version of who moved my cheese. The management watches. Yeah, that's true. Have those idiot mice go get you the cheese. <laughs> you get to live in a mansion. However, him and Hall woke later each day. Hell yeah, they and did. Strolled slowly Uh-oh. over to Cheese Station C. Yep, that's me. After all, they knew where the cheese was and how to get. There. God, that looks so comfortable. Look how it that would stroll. always be there. This is fabulous. I'm so happy. There's enough cheese here to last us forever. Congratulations, Haw. <sighs> Ham and Haw put away their running shoes, thinking they wouldn't need them anymore. Oh, no. They felt very secure in their familiar surroundings. Haw even decorated the walls with sayings. Having che- cheese. Uh oh, these you- motherfuckers. They stopped struggling, started doing art all of a sudden, started expressing <laughs> themselves, doing the written word. Now they're fucked up. They're going to starve now. Yeah, they discovered like, oh, man, yeah, I got, I mean, here's here's really what the, the real world implication of this. I got a 40 inch TV and a nice little apartment, plenty of space for myself. Uh, uh, I got a PlayStation 4. I can order pizza three times a week. Yeah. This is great. You know, yeah. I I don't need any more. What? Yeah, this is my cheese. Nothing more than this. Yeah, this is it. Right, I That's got some it. cheese. Yeah, um, and these guys got all the cheese too. That's why this funny. fucking this this analogy is so stupid because these guys literally have all the cheese. They wow. don't need anything else. What they gonna get more cheese? Like they or is there? Are they gonna run out of cheese? Or is the cheese always gonna fucking be there? Does if cheese, these motherfuckers run out of cheese, I'm going to be pissed. I was gonna say, cheese doesn't always stay there. I mean, if you've ever been to a party, you know the cheese isn't there at the end of the night. Yeah. The cheese disappears. Man, these guys... Cheese don't last long. Plus, that shit gets stanking. Like, it's sitting in the hot sun. Then we have, like, a tarp on it or nothing. No. These guys probably sit on the toilet all the time, but oh, they're God. not getting the cheese. Praying, praying to shit. <laughs> Please, God. Yeah. They get Please. The, they get the cheese, and then they sit on the toilet. <laughs> Yeah, and then then they spend all their money on anal fissure medication. Yeah, <laughs> they probably have bed pans and like a little hole in their bed where they, you know, when they're laying there, just in case something wants to fall out. You know, I hope they're getting their fiber in. Yeah, I hope somebody, they got Metamucil in there at least. Toss. We moved your cheese, goddamn it, because you needed a banana or a pear <laughs> yeah. or an apple yeah. or something to get it moving. Eat some celery, eat my a man. Green something. You don't need all this cheese. What kind of human eats that much cheese anyway? It's bad for you. What kind of human goes searching for a fucking big pile of cheese that they can actually sit on at the end of every day? Man, but if I just got shrunk down into a mini person, it's just like, I'll eat. I'm just going to do this cheese thing. I'm not trying to do nothing else. I got my books yeah. I can read. But it doesn't make sense to just set up camp and basically hang out on the cheese and throw rocks and play cards and shit instead of like running back and forth. It does know? make sense. Yeah. I wouldn't move my damn house by the cheese. I would. I would. <laughs> I would set up a new house. Those houses didn't look that intense to build. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a flat pack house. That's like an Ikea ass house. I would build my fucking, I would just build the whole cheese thing into my mansion. I'm yeah. Hall and I want this man or him and I want this mansion. Yeah. I, I mean, once again, I think they fucked up because they this they had too much leisure time now. They mm. thought it was e- they thought they were an easy living. Hem and Haw became very comfortable in cheese. Hell station yeah, they seat. did. They got lazy they boys were not paying attention to what was happening around them. What? Meanwhile, Sniff and Scurry inspected the area each morning. They noticed the changes that were taking They're place. Like, Damn, dog, y'all too much. <laughs> They kept Dude, we their were, running shoes around their, we're supposed to, you, their neck. We're supposed so to they, save that ounce for the whole weekend, dog. <laughs> what are you doing, man? You stayed up all night smoking it. <laughs> they are pissed. They're like, these They're, fucking dudes just hem and haw. They move here. They eat all the cheese. That's what humans do, though. The fucking mouse got a measuring tape out. He's like, scurry, <laughs> scurry. L- listen to this math for me. This is a 48-inch wedge of cheese. And now, when I was here yesterday, it was 48 <laughs> inches. I'm looking at it now. It's 24. How does it go down half in size overnight? <laughs> Please, Mr. Scurry, tell me what's going on. He's saying it loud enough so that Hem and Hall can hear him yeah. while they're on their lazy boys. Where'd all the cheese go? Hey! Look, this was a, this used to be the spot for cheese. This used to be the spot for cheese. It's changed. Things have changed. They could get to them quickly whenever they needed them again. Oh, no. Hem and Hall ate One all morning, the cheese. Sniff and Scurry arrived at Cheese Station C and discovered 
there was no cheese. What the fuck? They were not caught by surprise, since they noticed the supply of cheese had been getting older and smaller. Oh, for a minute there, I thought Hem and Hall took it, moved it somewhere else, which is what I would do if they were coming in with measuring tapes. Yeah. If it, like if somebody that's that's a good work analogy too, man. If like if I figured out okay, let's say you're at the warehouse, you find a big box, and you set up shop in there, a nice place to lay down when your boss isn't looking for you. You know what I mean? You yeah. get to take a nap. You go there every day and you take a nap. And you show four or five people, and then now they're going in there. Sometimes you go over there to take a nap. There's already somebody in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But but then they tell somebody else. They tell somebody else about the napping box. Right. You know? And then one day, the boss is like, Where's every, where the fuck is everybody at? And there's three people sleeping in the napping box at the same time. Right. Boom. Napping box is gone. You got to fucking start from square one. You right. got to come up with a new napping solution. Yeah. At work. You got to sniff and scurry for a new spot. Yeah. Yeah. I think about that a lot. It's like, like there are so many tactics for like getting away with not do for doing time theft, right? There's like a million different tactics you could come up with for doing time theft. But once you come up with that tactic, in order to be a comrade and a good person, you tell the other workers and then they tell another worker and then they tell another worker and then what happens is a new rule gets developed and then you lose that tactic. Yeah. Right. And then now we start out. We got no tactics. We're just, <laughs> we're fucking here doing our jobs now. Yeah. You know, yeah. That really mess your day up. That's what the, this is what who move my cheese makes me think about. It's like all the times the boss took away an old tactic. Oh, you know, we, we figured out this whole, it happened all the time. Happened all the time when I was working for a living. So I think that's this is this is another theme is this is a guarantee from the company that if you find cheese station C, we're gonna take it away from you. Yeah. That's it's not gonna last long. The 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 easy days are behind you. Always Mr. perpetually behind you. The easy days are perpetually always behind you. They do not want you to think the days are going to be easy like this forever. You ever been in training and the person training you is like, oh, it's an easy day. Don't ever expect this. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, pretty regular. And then when you're training somebody, you're always like, ah, oh, it's an easy I was day. Like, oh, yeah, I was hoping it was going to be super fucked up. So you could, yeah. see what really, what, you could see the panic on people's faces and get a real temperature of what it's <laughs> like working here, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it really is like having a job is the most uncomfortable thing in the world to have to do when when you're there, especially. And uh, I think the answer for me currently to who moved my cheese is the boss. The boss did. The boss always moved your cheese. I mean, reckless people too, reckless time thieves. You got we got to teach better. I don't know how. Maybe an underground kind of master class you know that master class thing yeah. maybe an underground master class where it's like look we we got to be fucking cool you know yeah. people were taking two hour three hour lunches when i was working at the cable company people would just go home and like sleep and be that play video games for two three eight, two hours and it was fine and then motherfucker i knew this one guy right he would go home he would go get his his quad, his four wheeler. He would go to the gas station. He would use the gas car. He would tow it to the gas station on his cable truck. He would use the gas card to fill up the gas in his cable truck, and then pull forward and use the gas to fill up the gas in his quad. Very genius move. Yeah, smart. Very yeah. genius move. But then he would ride his quad for seven hours and then go return his truck at the end of the day no. <laughs> on slow days. And it's like, dude, you can't go into full vacation mode. Right. You still got to kind of be in work mode. You have to you know? be on, you're on defense. You're yes. on defense. Yes. Here. You haven't outsmarted them. You're not like going to get away with this for very long. You have to make sure you're always playing defense. Yes. Or they would like, they would like drive by somebody's house and they'd see their van there. And then they drive back four hours later and see their van. And it's like, don't fucking hang out at home. Yeah. Don't spend all of your fucking time at home, you know, or at the call center. They were catching people hanging out in a fucking bathroom or on a dial tone. 
or saying I got to go to the bathroom and then going doing some other shit, yeah. you know, going outside and smoking. That happened all. I did that so much. And then fucking this dude started there and he found out that I was doing that. And he started fucking doing it every 25 minutes, going out there and smoking while he was supposed to go to the bathroom. Uh, and then they were like, no, if you're going to the bathroom, you got this amount of time and that's yeah. it. You got to sign out. You got this amount of time. And it's just like, we really, we really got to teach people to be cool. I don't know how to teach it. Maybe we can sneak it into some school curriculum, you know, sneak it into Marxism. Like when you're talking about Marxism, also say, don't, don't, you're on defense. Don't <laughs> fuck everything up. Okay. Yeah. Don't get caught doing this. You ruin it for everyone. Yeah. As soon as you get caught, it's over for the rest of us. Let's check into these fucking idiot mice. I think the mice. The mice did not overanalyze or complicate things. No, bitch, the we're mice. The situation had changed, so sniff and scurry changed. Oh. They were soon off in search of new cheese. Later that day, him and Ha arrive and are startled at the sight Damn, of the empty cheese station scene. <laughs> Can you hem, believe it? Hem is so me. Nobody's ever looked more like me. He's he's bald. His hair's sticking straight out. He fucking looks like somebody took something away from him. Complete his hands, his palms are out, and he's like, "Ah, where the fuck is the cheese?" He's freaked the fuck out. He looks so freaked right now. He literally was sitting in a chair on top of a pile of cheese that was getting <laughs> smaller and smaller, and never thought, like, "Oh, damn, this isn't going to be here tomorrow, though." <laughs> That's me. He That's ate the last cheese. piece of cheese and then was like, all right, we'll be back tomorrow for more cheese. <laughs> That's like every month when I get paid. Yeah. yeah. Sitting on a cheese. I'm just kicked back on a fucking big piece of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> what can I buy? What can I buy? And yeah. then, you know. Cheese is gone. Che well, the cheese is very gone right now. What? No cheese? Yep, that's me. Who moved my cheese? Who moved my cheese? It's not fair. What'll happen? Oh my God, nobody's ever been more like me than him. I'm him. He just, I mean, yeah, because it's also, yeah, just saying like facts out loud. It's, it's not there. It's just not there. It's like, yeah, we know. <laughs> but I want it to be there. <laughs> yes. Sometimes you think like if you just keep yelling about it, somebody yeah. else will do something about it. We'll make it different. Yeah. No, no, look, 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 it's there. It's there. We made it. We, yeah. we, we, we didn't move it at all. It's especially a good way to get out of doing work. Yeah. Like anytime your mom, I was overwhelmed at a job, I'd be like, I don't know. I don't know what what happened. Yes, I tried everything. And yeah. then somebody would be like, I'll oh, just let me take care of it. Yeah, it's a good move. Yeah, it's smart. I had, I had an, well, there was an issue, uh, with somebody that was doing something for me and they were like, what, why does this look wrong? And I said, you either did this wrong or this wrong or this wrong. And they said, I did everything right. And I said, well, then it's right. Like, I don't know what else to fucking tell you. <laughs> if you tell me everything's right, I do. I fucking have nothing else to say. <laughs> Who moved my cheese? I don't know, dude. It's not fair. Oh. What'll happen if the cheese isn't here tomorrow? That's me. It's, All my that's plans me are too. based on the cheese being here. <laughs> no, I, I have I have I have spear I have a lot of epiphanies like that. <laughs> Like I have, I just start like, oh shit, dog. We're, we're entangled in something right now. <laughs> I love what Hall said. I want to hear that again. Here. Who moved my cheese? Listen to him. It's not fair. What'll happen if the cheese isn't here tomorrow? <laughs> All my plans are based on the cheese being here. <laughs> <laughs> I like hate that. I do that too. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> Like, I thought we had cheese, but then it's, we don't. We actually fucking don't. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck. <laughs> I, planned, I planned a whole dinner because I thought we had cheese. That's the most fucking accurate depiction of human beings oh, yeah. I've seen in anything. Who moved my cheese so far? Very accurate. I I was depending. I, I had figured the cheese would be here. I don't know. Now it's not. I made concrete plans in a stone tablet. <laughs> that can never change based upon cheese showing up here every single day. <laughs> oh, great. I'm in deep shit. You're fucked, yeah. Sorry, Haw. 
Hems and Haw's behavior was not very attractive and I, kept them from succeeding. I love it. But they also, they're, this, they are very human. Putting your arms out and just looking like somebody, is there God in heaven or somebody watching right now that would just change this nightmare for me, please? Can somebody please drop some fucking cheese off here? Yeah, just do something different than this I'm, to anybody. <laughs> if you're in the woods, if you're hiding, if you're watching me, whoever, wherever you're at. Maybe fucking... Whoever put me in this godforsaken maze! <laughs> Is there a different food you could drop off here? Yeah. By any chance, maybe some seeds so Apples. I could grow some plants? Yeah, something that we that's better suited to sit outside in the hot sun in this desert maze. These, these guys are fucked, man. Yeah, they... Well, I mean, they're not handling it well at all. And the truth is, though, I don't like the narrator saying they looked very unattractive. Did they say that? Yeah. Listen, listen to this motherfucker. Oh, no. He's trying to say you're, you're not pretty when you're angry and upset. Listen, it's not fair. What will happen if the cheese <laughs> isn't here I tomorrow? Just played that again because I like it. All my plans are based on the cheese bean. <laughs> <laughs> Hems and Haw's behavior was not very attractive oh. and kept them from succeeding. But it was understandable. Yeah. Finding cheese wasn't easy. And it meant a great deal more to them than just having enough of it to eat every day. While Sniff and Scurry had changed, Hem and Haw continued well, to... Hold on. Well, Hem and Haw. The fucking mice has a mouse brain, though. I know. Like, like wandering I know. in a desert maze alone with the gift of thought is way more interesting <laughs> than like being a fucking mouse brain that like is on one hundred all the time and just looking for cheese. Yeah, these fucking guys are struggling with the fucking realities of the fact yeah. that their cheese isn't there anymore. <laughs> Imagine the types of novels they're going to write on those walls now. They have they felt pain. They've been hurt. They'll be able to write about despair and, and loss. Me just pacing around like, what the fuck, man? Wow. I am like that, too, though, this, dude. I, I remember, again, the stories I was telling earlier about the guy that wrote his quad and all that stuff. When, when he finally got in trouble, I'm like, I remember standing in a warehouse the next morning after he got in trouble for it with, like, all of us standing around and just being like, how the fuck did he get caught, though? Did somebody tell on him? Did, did the manager catch him? Who caught him? Did a customer tell on him? What happened? What I because you know you need to know yeah yeah like these What's, motherfuckers where's the hole in the plan yeah these motherfuckers are trying to find out yeah. how the cheese disappeared okay. because once you know how the cheese disappeared you can create new cheese yeah or was there a cheese station A and B do they know that did they already run out of it or is this the first time they ran out of cheese in their life I know that's the that's unfair too if this is the first time they ever ran out yeah it seems like. Okay, you can understand these dudes are fucking kind of panicking. Yeah. And, like, this is almost like saying, like, if you lost your job and your manager and, and like, let's say you, you go into work, it's your, it's your dream job and you're making all the money and, and, and your, your significant other stays home and this is all the money that's coming in and then you sit down in human resources and they were like, we're laying you off. You had no severance package. And then you start crying. And then the human resources person says, that's very unattractive. You should already be looking for another job. You know, if you were a mouse, you'd be smart enough to sniff and scurry for a new way to get cheese. Yeah, you know, you should be halfway to your first job interview. Yeah. Already I mean, with the time you spent crying. Don't call your wife. Don't tell her that you're a loser. Go find a job before you go home. <laughs> yeah. That's don't what go this... home tonight unless you have a job. That's what this feels like. Him. Or a sniff and scurry. Do you think they know something we don't? Nah, they're just simple mice. We're little people. See, no, we're more that's me see, too. I no, I don't know. In matters of food, like I'm not going to try to beat a dog at sniffing or hearing. I'm not. I'm, these mice too, man. They get into everything. I know, but he's also saying like, "What the fuck do mice know?" Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. Like that's how that's how I am too. It's like. Well, yeah, fucking you, they know, man. I'll figure it out. Because you can't ask him nothing. You're like, hey, uh, hey, who moved my cheese? <laughs> and then they just go. They just squeak at you. You throw your hands up in the air and say, fuck you, mouse. <laughs> it's funny. They don't know the mice. Did they? Oh, hold on. I don't think they know the okay. mice names. No, no. They live right across the street from him. Who would learn the goddamn sniff and scurry? Oh, they do know them. Do you think they know something we don't? You think they eat dinner nah. together? 
They're Cheese? just simple mice. Probably. We're little people. We're more complex and smarter. We're entitled to our cheese. <laughs> True. They don't seem to be acting smarter at the moment. Sniff and Scurry are probably in the maze looking for new cheese. Maybe we should simply get going and look for some new cheese. I like it. Go find. Oh, no. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want things to be just the way they were. Uh oh, Ham. Yeah. That's a Brian ass. Sniff and Scurry moved further into the maze. They didn't think of anything else but finding new cheese. Right. After looking in parts of the maze where they had never been before, Sniff and Scurry found the biggest store of cheese they had ever seen. Don't fucking tell him at all about that cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Those motherfuckers come in there and eat all the cheese again. I, I what I would do is like invite them over for dinner, have a very nice cheese dinner with them. <laughs> you understand their they their situation is dried up and you just be <laughs> charitable in your spread of different cheeses, but you do not let them know. Yeah. No. Maybe you just leave cheese on their front porch at night and then when they wake up the cheese will be there and then they, you keep going back to like you're like I know where all the cheese is. So they're so this is like they're rationing for them. Yeah. Cuz mice, yeah, the mice know. The mice sm mice are smart. Mice also don't they they probably the mice are smarter too because they just go eat the cheese and then go home. Yeah. Like they just get like their two thousand calories for the day and then they're done. They're not like trying to make new fucking cheese dishes out of anything. Or a chair out right, of cheese. Like those guys sniffing or or Hem and Hall were making chairs and couches and fucking sofas and, and, and fucking televisions out yeah. of the cheese. You yeah. know, they're writing novels on the wall and shit. <laughs> yes. The mice were like I'm gonna go in there and get some fucking cheese and get out of here. They're the mice are cool. Tightened up their shoes. They just tightened up the laces and we're like, all right, let's fucking go. Yeah. Sniff and scurry. Pound it. <laughs> Got all the cheese I'll ever need. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hem and Ha were still trying to figure out what was happening. I like it. Then Ha began to imagine himself out in the maze, finding fresh new cheese. Hell yeah. Before long, he could almost taste it. Hell yeah. Come on, Ham, let's go. Okay. We've got to change and enjoy something better. No way. Yeah, that's it me. It might be dangerous out this there is... in the maze. I like it here. I'm comfortable. This is I on this is uh this is a parallel for uh touring during COVID, I think. Yeah. This is this is fucking who move this is street fight like uh, behind the scenes yeah. footage. I want to do live performances though. I want to do them. <laughs> but Brian, there's a land out there without live performances. <laughs> Nobody's doing them, but I would like to. <laughs> yeah, but I want to do one. <laughs> no, I'm not leaving until I do one. <laughs> maybe we can find maybe we'll discover the vaccine <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> Let's sink everything into that. That's the ticket. <laughs> Good job, Ham. You'll see. Someday things will be just the way they were. Damn like him. Ha focused on what he was losing. His vision of finding new cheese and gaining something better faded. Same. That's me. That's when I go in my hole. Yeah. When I'm just like, it's always going to be looking for new cheese. Once you realize the cheese is always going away, it's so hard. So every it's hard yeah. to live. Yeah. Like it, you just grimace. That's what you do that smile like this. <laughs> They take it away, man. I love it. I just love chasing new cheese. Every single week, there's a new piece of fucking cheese to chase. And I it, wake up and do 40 hours a week. Yeah. I mean, Hall's got it right, though, man. You got to find out where the cheese went. It's better to know the root cause of okay. where the cheese went. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I think you're right. Yeah. I have a fuck. Somebody's That's like saying somebody come in and steal all the food out of your refrigerator. And then you're just like, well, I'll just go get some new food out of the re refrigerator. You know, I'll go get some new food at the store and just put it in a refrigerator. For me, it's like, who the fuck took all that, man? Yeah. Why I is this gone? You know, why is everything gone? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We came. Somebody threw a whole pile of cheese here. They got to do it again, right? Yeah. That's what I would be thinking, too. It's like, come on. At some point. What kind of a psycho puts shrinks down a tiny human being makes them compete against mouse mouses for cheese a good parallel for work also is like when you get a new policy that comes in right yeah and uh oh, you're yeah. you're a new guy and you're like oh i yeah i can do this new policy i can do it but when you're a salty old dog <laughs> You're hauling all over the damn thing. Yeah. You're it's the hauling most... on everything. No. 
no, we <laughs> don't do it like that. Yeah. No, we've never done it. I don't want to do it like that. <laughs> I like the way we did it before. <laughs> I fucking You gotta man. haul shit. You gotta haul stuff. I know. Slow, slow it down. Slow down that, that progress. Because like we said, the, the best days of work are behind you. The closer that we get towards them, they what they want, the less power you have the less free time you have the more work you got to do yeah yeah they'll, and they, it, they'll put a fucking tracking device on you yeah yeah haul uh, yeah exactly that's Hauling what i'm saying slows it down you gotta haul some just haul just grab on the <laughs> grab on the winds of chains and yank them back yeah <laughs> blow a fan the other yeah. way man turn on a fucking industrial fan in the opposite direction <laughs> just haul all over it i was so it, like i remember you know, they, I've talked about metrics in the past, but I remember them changing metrics and then changing the process in order to get the metrics that they wanted you to get. Yeah. And just, it took me a full year before I was like, okay, fine. I'll do the new process. <laughs> Cause like, I didn't think they were going to catch me, you know, for a really long time, but it's pretty ironclad. Yeah. If they figure that stuff out, they know how they're going to get you, you know, but, uh, I was very good at, at, just being like, no, I don't do it this way. I'm not going to do it this way. We've never done it this way. I wasn't trained that way. I wasn't trained that way. (laughs) That's a move. That is a Brian. That is a Brian classic. If you had a Brian's greatest hits of things he said at work when he worked, I wasn't trained that way. And that's not my job. Were the two main ones, you know, those are the ones. Yeah. Those were my greatest hits. I probably could get a top five, uh, uh, at some point. Every day, him and Ha went from their homes to Cheeseless Station See, that was C stupid. and returned home again with empty bellies full of nothing but stress. <laughs> Who's feeling uh, the stress? Ooh, I'm so full of stress right now. I, yeah. just, I gotta lay down and I'm buttoning my pants. Yeah, who's <laughs> feeding them stress? Yeah, just pumping them full of stress. Yeah, the fucking the the maze keeper seems to be you know stressing them out. They're fucking going clip. up there and, and taking fucking acid, <laughs> getting all nervous. They're, they're dosing them. They uh, I've, they, it's they got that uh, cortisol going, right? Yeah, they're dosing them with amphetamine, and that's, they're, they're like, "Why am I so stressed out? And I'm hungry too. Where's the fucking cheese?" They tried to deny the change that had happened, but found it more and more difficult. Their homes were not the nurturing places they once were. Damn, they ain't even mowing the grass. You know, if we just try harder, maybe we'll discover the cheese is still here. Yeah. I mean, come on, him. So him and Ha worked. I like this idea. Don't keep. But still, they did not find their cheese. I got no respect for him. Ha was beginning to realize how hard they were working without success. Then Ha lived up to his name. <laughs> oh, oh shit! He's going nuts. <laughs> He's gone what mad. Are you laughing at? They moved our cheese, and you think this is funny? <laughs> yeah. Oh, him. We keep doing the same things over and over, <laughs> and we wonder why things don't get better. He's Jokerified. Now that's funny. That's the adesh- <laughs> that's the definition of insanity. I thought he is Jokerified. He's just gone Joker on us. <laughs> we, we, we want cheese, cheese, but maybe it's all cheese. Yeah. <laughs> the, just try eating one of those rocks. Move my cheese. Who moved my cheese? Ham, it's time for us to oh. find something better. Ham's Smart. about to Ham's about to go Brian here. You're not I think going out into the maze again, are you? Why don't we just wait here until they put the cheese? Stop. Back? They're never Yeah, he's me. Give it for up. Sure. Give it up. Man, what do we gotta do? Why are we gonna fucking move forward? You know? Man, my, my fucking stomach is touching my backbone right now, man. We got to do something else. No. Right? That's no. what all is saying. Yeah. But somebody's going to bring cheese eventually. This is what the end of the world is going to look like, by the way. Oh, yes. This is definitely what Armageddon is going to look like when it comes time, when, when they stop bringing the food to the grocery store. Yes. <laughs> there's just going to be hems and haws standing outside, and I'm going to be one of them. I'm not saying I'm like awake or anything and, and I'm going to be standing outside the grocery store too. Like where's the gummy bears? You're going to have your whole fucking brass band out there going, oh, who moved my cheese? <laughs> Where did you move it? You, I mean, that is, that is what's scary about this is that it is actually accurate to how uh, shit's going to go down. I've on I have thought about, I have rolled this over in my mind about like, uh, 
you know, you're going to have to prepare yourself to like change your change your uh, expectations like on the fly. Yes. Scarcity yes. is something that is is you got to be like a rat. Like you just go Dude. to go to mouse brain. Dude, I went to the store today and uh, t- I saw two things. First, first coin shortage. Obviously, Everywhere. that's been going on forever. Yeah. <sighs> but we do have a coin shortage. Would you have ever in your life considered that there would be a coin shortage ever? Just would you ever have even thought at any time in your life when you were chucking pennies on the ground <laughs> after you leave the store <laughs> that there would be a coin shortage? No, you'd have never thought that. And now uh, uh, they aluminum shortage cans. Tight. We got can shortage now. It's like, fuck. And then you go to the toilet paper aisle and they're like, oh, you know, we might not. We have toilet paper now, but you never know if there's going to be toilet paper later. It's it's yeah. kind of the whole store. You can only buy is, one, but you should buy, you should try to buy two. If you have more, <laughs> if you have more people in your party, do separate transactions. <laughs> mm-hmm. The store is turning into a fucking place where it's like, yeah, we're bargaining. You really can't depend on the things that you need being there now no. in the same way that you could even last year. No, yeah, right. You, you can expect to go see like a piece of paper printed out in the back room that says like uh, green beans aren't happening right now. Like, yeah, we, just, we'll see green beans in 2022. Yeah, no lettuce. <laughs> or you whatever know? it is, yeah. You like lettuce on your sandwiches? Not happening. It's that is the thing that fucks me up the the most is like I know that the grocery stores do an astounding amount of waste, but it feels like capitalism is the type of thing that would like sort of gear itself towards like at least making the making us feel like everything's abundant. But like I it's never about feel. It's just about money. No, but I but I mean, like grocery stores whole goal is to make you feel like a they have an abundant amount of food. That's why they position things the way they do. That's why they buy so many of everything. That's what supermarkets whole idea is. And the fat and, and capitalism is the sort of thing that like works. If they're able to do that, like that, that's how they get us to be into it where it's like, fuck, I could get corn pops, honeycomb, fucking all that shit. But now we're starting to go into the store and it's like, "Mm, we don't have that anymore yeah. we're not uh hand sanitizer no well now there's too much hand sanitizer but yeah you see what i'm saying like it, that's like the freakiest thing is like when shit become when now i'm looking at stuff become sh- like have shortages and now i'm like damn man what if we just go to the store what if they just stop bringing the stuff to the store yeah like what what would we even fucking do we would just stand outside we would just keep going to the store every day and hoping they brought the stuff i don't think so i would i i mean i think i don't know what else to do what i would fucking shoot a deer or something you know i mean yeah you mean you have enough access to people you would just you know yeah, but People eventually be- you would also run out. That's what I'm trying to say. It's that like No, I'm not saying but I'm saying that I, I'm just saying that people will organize in alternative fashions because it happens in every war torn country and every place where there's a coup and every place where stuff True. is turned off. Villages and people and communities spring up that provide for each other. Right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's just not going to be anything close to what you've seen before. But a guy like me. Still going to go to the grocery yeah, store Mr. all the time because I'm going to be Hall always. You're a him. Hem. I'm going to be him always. You know, I can't change that. We're going to put the cheese back. That was yesterday's cheese. It's time for us to find some new cheese. Oh, fuck you. Now, where did we put our... I love that new cheese, though. That new cheese smell. Cheese out there? He what? really is you. Yeah. He really... That guy... That speech was so brat it's like we gotta fucking do new shit man yeah. i know this thing didn't work out but if you know what something else is gonna work out, other later. out there we just gotta figure out how to make the other shit work out yes you know if you can't find it or well, so, that's me know him but imagine how much we would enjoy some new cheese no no yep. i don't want to go into the main i agree well, I buddy either, but let's face it if we don't change we could become extinct. Oh, damn. Extinct? Why didn't you just say dead? 
Who says extinct? Uh, well, because they're the only tiny human of their kind, I guess. Yeah, there's only two tiny humans. I mean, technically, they, are they? I mean, they don't even look like humans to me. One of them's purple. I don't care if you're black, white, green, purple, yellow, orange. Yeah. Who moved my cheese? Yeah. <laughs> Who moved that shit? So he's, for now the, he's hallucinating. For the podcast listeners, he's he's imagining his mansion and it's crumbling, and he's like, "Who the fuck moved? Who moved it?" Who moved the fucking I cheese? Had, I had one piece of cheese. It was, it was a load-bearing cheese, and someone took it, and it just <laughs> crumbled my mansion. Yeah. Who moved my cheese? Who moved my cheese? You got this. You got this, Ham. Then Ha wrote on the wall what he had been thinking Ooh, about for some time. He's a motivational speaker. What? God, he is you. He is <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> Brett Payne. He wrote on the wall, what would you do he's if gonna you read weren't it. afraid? Oh, yeah. Then Ha wrote on the wall what he had been thinking about for some time. What would you do if you weren't afraid? I don't know, dog. See, I'm, I'm still afraid. Some guidance counselor asked question right there. Oh yeah, that's my dude. It's that's me. Sit time. Time for new cheese. Dude, I don't think I think I mean Then Hod Hod's going to find a lot of reasons to give up, I'm guessing. If he's like me, you there's so? going to be plenty of reasons to give up. Well, at least he's not like uh, I am very him. Hem's just having a panic attack but back I, at the the old cheese station. <laughs> but Hem also like whenever Hall finds it, like he's going to come back and be like, "Dog, I found the new cheese." So you get like you know, you'll get your new cheese. Yeah, but you get like a heartache and a, yeah, it's a, a lot of you misery. Feel horrible. Yeah, <laughs> misery from cheese to cheese. You're torturing yourself. Jogged into the unknown. Look at him run though. He's fast as hell. Yeah, it's quick footed. Faster he than him rat. Oh shit. Oh no. He fell in a hole. So which he was not planning for. He only imagined that. finding finding cheese. He didn't imagine holes in the ground. I, neither did I, though. How did the mice not fall in the hole? Uh, I don't... I mean, they just have better survival instincts than humans. The hole. That's This bullshit. is why humans should go extinct. They don't, like, have natural instincts to stay alive. They'll just fucking run straight into a hole. Yeah. You know, I'm making fun of him. Like, he's going to run straight into the hole, but I'm the same guy that walked into concrete with both feet. <laughs> <laughs> like, I put well, one honest. foot in concrete and then the next foot one. in concrete. <laughs> oh, that's going to leave a mark. <laughs> Hob picked himself up. Wow. And got He's back got a good on attitude. course. <laughs> Dramatic. I know. That's a Being little much. back in the maze isn't nearly as bad as I feared. I don't know what lesson I'm learning right now. That See, at exercise. He's just exercising now. Yeah. Which is something I'm not going to do. But, you know? <laughs> well, exercise helps. <laughs> helps you find some cheese. That was, had me, Katie had me doing Happy Baby again last night. And then a new stretch because I'm sciatic. Yeah. Like hip. I got yeah. a hip thing. That's what that thing is to my knee, I think. It's either that or bursitis. Uh -huh. So I'm just choosing to believe it's sciatica because bursitis makes me sound old. But yeah. uh, she had me lay on the ground and do this stretch. And then she was like, now do happy baby. And then she pushed me over and I fell. And it's just every time I stretch, she thinks I, it's very funny to her when I stretch. That's why she has me stretch. Uh -huh. But she also genuinely... You know, wants me to stretch. Yeah. That's like her whole been her mantra. Actually, uh, uh, last week when I said I had sciatic, uh, so the pain in my knee, somebody DM'd me and said, have you, have you tried stretching? And I was like, did Katie get a fucking Twitter alt for Christ's sake? That's all she ever talks to me about. Yeah. I should have followed my instincts and changed a lot sooner. I do that too. If I'd been. See, but I will sometimes beat myself up for three weeks. Like, ha! Oh, what were you doing? You, were, you fucking knew you shouldn't have been digging a hole in the wall of Cheese Station C. You just sat there and you did nothing. And you just co-signed while we did nothing. What the fuck were you doing, man? And I am still having a panic attack back at Cheese Station C. <laughs> I'm having a total meltdown. Catatonic. At back at Cheese Station C. Yeah. Just, nobody wants to talk to me because every word they say to me is going to send me further down the hole. Rocking in place. <laughs> My cheese. Some, it'll be back. Somebody will be back. Yeah. The cheese. 
Ah, that's the saddest part about him is that fucking he is like me in the way that like I do this weird like optimistic thing when I'm in the worst of my time. Oh, yeah. Where then I start fucking being like, it's all going to fucking happen. It happens every time. It's always happened. You know, it's going to be okay. Start lying to your like telling the biggest lie to yourself. Yeah. And world. you don't believe it. No, not at all. No, you just say it in a positive way. Like. No, someone's going to drop off all the cheese tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> you just look at everybody. Someone's going to drop off all the cheese tomorrow. Someone, Someone's going to drop off the cheese tomorrow. Yeah. And you just keep saying it until you believe it. And you know you don't on the inside. You know what this reminds me of? This whole thing reminds me of more than anything. The being at a rental car place on tour. <laughs> <laughs> This is the this is a this is the maze. Yeah. How do you get two drug addicts with bad credit a rental car? Can they survive that maze? Remember Denver? Yeah. You just I'll never stop thinking about being in Denver and thinking I do not know how we're going to get to these tour dates. We might have to rent a U-Haul. Yeah, I, I remember just saying stuff like, mm, well, there's a public transit system and there's a, a bus or we can uh, taxi and, uh, <laughs> you know, we can rent a bicycle. <laughs> and the truth is, dude, like that whole time I was giving up. I was like, fuck it. They're not going to give it to us. We need to figure something else out. I was fucking banging a hole in the wall at the maze and you were just fucking out it at the counter just chipping away at this guy falling in holes he's like nah, i can't do that and you're like but what about this dude <laughs> yeah and every time it worked out in the end but like the way that i felt through the whole ordeal was cra- the only time i ever helped there was one time i helped because i threw a tantrum in the lobby yes but other than that i, I was never i was just too busy freaking out you yes. know yes watching what was happening Mm. Smell the cheese often so you know when it's getting old. What? What is this? Is he fucking like why do he's I He's tripping feel now, so he's hungry. Good. Yeah. Good. I don't have any cheese and I don't know where it is. Yeah, he's getting some sort of like sleep psychosis or like hunger psychosis is setting in. Yeah, Hawes. The Joker. He's Joker Jokerified. Yeah, he's a hundred percent the Joker now. <laughs> As long as I don't move, I won't die. I'm still alive. If I move, I won't die. I don't have any G's, but I'm not dying. I'm still alive. Something is, I don't know what they're making him. He's the good guy here and he's doing the right thing. They're making him genuinely unhinged, which makes me not want to do the right thing. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, you're right. You're telling people you have to be psychotic. I feel crazy too. Sometimes. Yeah. Like, no, everything's good. We're going to make it out of this. There's no evidence otherwise. Yeah. I'm just saying it out loud. Being afraid, you feel good. No shit. Oh, no. Not that good. good. Oh, God. Rights free James Brown. (laughs) I feel good. Like I knew I would. This motherfucker doesn't have it. He's awfully happy for a guy that doesn't have any cheese. Yeah, I would say he's on like the, he's on day four or five of not eating. Does this feel like the, when the boss is like, you should just be happy you have the job? Yes, this is, this is the point where he broke and he was like, you know what? I'm alive. I, I'm, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I'm alive. Yeah. Who knows? He's just yeah. like running around in circles and you're just like, I, I guess I'm glad I'm, I'm doing this. I'm glad yeah. I get the chance to do this. Yeah. Cause to- there's, he doesn't have any reason to be happy now. None. He's just out running around. He decided not to dig a hole in the wall and he's using that as like a win. Exactly. He's really living off of that. He's saying I changed my mind, which is good, but uh you got to you got to get some cheese, dog. He feels like he's winning by just not not doing anything. Yeah. I mean, it isn't always good to do something, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, like, there are times where I have been like, if I had not done something, it might have turned out better, just car part type stuff and shit, okay. like working on a car where it would be like, if you didn't fuck with that, it would have cost you a lot less money to get it fixed, you know? Sure. The more clearly how I imagined himself finding new cheese and enjoying it, the more real it became. Was this a secret? And his mind and his heart. And the more it made good sense to him. 
imagining myself enjoying my new cheese even before I find it leads me to it. No. Nope. And no. How? Scientifically explain that to me. Is You're there right. something in little humans that can do? No, that's not true. The secret. They are also. It is the secret. Hall. Hall had a dream at the beginning of this. Yes. I don't remember what it was. I wanted a mansion. Ham wanted a mansion. Hall had a dream. He wanted something, right? Yeah, I don't remember. Maybe a ton of cheese or something. Who knows? But now he's just happy with the fact that he's out trying to get the cheese. You're right. Which is nothing. He's got right. nothing. Hey, you know what? You don't have cheese. You have the opportunity to get cheese. And that's like right in your own paycheck. Yeah. Yeah. He had a fucking dream, dude. He had the and dream. And now he doesn't have the dream anymore. Some, now he's just trying to get what he had before. Some psychotic lab person is doing an experiment on him. Yeah. Also, you know what I'm going to say? Uh, I, I'm this type of person, but I also spent about a decade being miserable because uh, once you get five or six years into realizing that you're not going to ever not be chasing cheese, it's hard to get by on dreams. You can't really just... You can't really get satiated by a dream when, right. you, when you know it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, the dreams are gone. And that's the other thing. Like most people's dreams are not for a mansion or for uh, a, a, a nice computer or whatever these dreams are. Most people's dreams are more about the way that they get to live their life. Yeah. Like I'm currently living a version of my dream. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have a real job. I, I talk for a living and I get to be funny and have a good time, you know, but I'm still miserable. So I'm not all the way at the dream, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, like, I, but if I had just, if I had just the, for the times in my life where I made peace with the chase to the dream, I wasn't doing anything to achieve this dream. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? When I was, when I was working at the cable company, uh, I had money. I was able to buy equipment. I was able to do all this stuff, but I wasn't able to chase this at all. There was yeah. no way, you know, there's, there's, there's concerns with HR. There's, there's not being able to tour. There's not being time. able to do a lot of the stuff, the time, spend the time that I spend doing this stuff now. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, the, like this, this works in the beginning, but it just gets old, man. Just dreaming about that cheese is like not anything. Yeah, it's a big stay put. This is basically this. I know what they're saying. I feel like this is telling people to stay fucking put. Yeah. You know what I mean? Finally, Ha arrived at large cheese station E, but he found it was practically empty. Oh, Damn, no. but there's probably some there. No how hard I try. Oh. Yeah, you got low blood sugar. I'm just too late. You, got, you got low blood cheese. Yeah. <laughs> just, they have cheese blood right. instead. Yeah. They have nacho blood. Yeah, there's um you have a low le- rennet content, content <laughs> in your blood. If, if only I had changed sooner. I'd have found a lot of. New oh, cheese. that does. That's not helpful. That's not. Oh, helpful. wow, that's great. Several... So that you, you show up to like a place. It's like going to the mall and saying, "Gee, Willikers, I wish I would have came up with department stores because you can make <laughs> a lot of money selling stuff." <laughs> True. You missed the boat. Like you don't get this cheese. Like once again, he's eating dreams right now. Yeah. He's like, at least get a sugar sandwich or something. And like, again, he's got food. a he's got a brain, dude. And 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 he fucking was wondering what happened to the cheese. There's nothing wrong with trying right. to figure out. What, I I don't understand this thing about not. It's like bosses will do this thing where they're like, never look back. And it's like, but it's useful to understand what happened to me before. So that I can judge what's going to happen to me in the future. But they just want you. No, 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 no. You work the way that I tell you to work. And that's how it works. You know, don't question any of the changes. Don't tell me that this doesn't work because in the end, you're going to do it or you're not going to work here. Yeah, I mean, I think for, like when I got subscribed uh, ha- the Who Moved My Cheese book, it was like we were required to do f- four sales a day. And it was just like, the reason you're not doing four sales a day is because you need to change your mind. And it's yeah. like, 
well, you know, I've been here for six months now and I've seen probably a, a few dozen people come in and out the door. I don't think this thing is, is just as easy as a mindset change. No, nothing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like, there are a lot of things that are, but like when it comes to work, I don't know that there's like a mindset change that can make you enjoy it and feel fulfilled and, and in the chase for some vague goal, you yeah. know? Yeah delicious morsels of cheese hey man it wasn't much but it was enough to keep him going i've got to go back to him and let him know there's some new cheese out here oh that's I nice He's that's also i knew you. who he was yeah that's also I'll you man his handwriting on the wall i got a you great won't... workout and he burnt how many calories of cheese is he burning right now <laughs> that's like true. that's wasteful yeah i mean you would come back for me i though. would that's the point hey, you dummy. always come back for hey, me hey dummy there's cheese over here. Yeah, I, I know where cheese is. Yeah. Even though you still don't know where the cheese is, no. that's an issue too. It's like he didn't even know where it is yet. I wouldn't give you like just like 90 minutes of like relief when we walk over there and then I'm going to be like, what? Somebody move the cheese. <laughs> Grab my band. <laughs> Who moved my cheese? <laughs> Back to Cheese Station C. Oh, I'm still working now. Look at all the so holes I've made. He's getting his feelings out. You look terrible. Yeah. See, that's it. Ham is getting his feelings out. Hall is not. Hall is avoiding his feelings. Yeah. Ham is digging away at the pit inside that's growing inside of him. Hall is running away from the pit that's growing inside yeah, of him. Yeah, yeah. That's two different ways to deal yes. with stress that's bad. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> two bits of new cheese I found in the maze. Oh, shit. No, I don't think I would like new cheese. I want my own cheese what? back. That's true. I want things to be the way they were. Yep. Dude. It's safer. It was good Search then. Search in the maze, him. And remain. Oh, no, 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 no. Now Haw is holding the cheese out like a carrot on a stick for him. Yeah. Try I would be like, fuck you, Haw. You know what I mean? You give me the cheese or you don't give me the cheese. Mother but Hall, him won't take it. So it's not Haw's fault, really. Yeah, it looks like Boo Berry from the back. He does a little. <laughs> I'm trying to get that cheese. Who moved it? Yeah, I know the feeling. Pa now knew that his friend Ham's negative thoughts robbed him of his confidence. Oh, no. yeah, pa that's true. How good he felt when he was away from such things Ooh. while searching for new cheese in the maze. He had to cut off a day one. I know. That's one of his down forever dudes that he was getting cheese heavy with. I mean, and, and now he's a, like, you're not in a getting cheese mindset anymore, man. You're in, you're down here in the, the dirt. It's also a bummer because it's like, this is a crew called Hem and Hall. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now it, now they're separated. Yeah. It's like, you don't even have that name anymore. Who's impressed by Tweedledee? Like, yeah. Who's like, oh, Tweedledee. Okay. <laughs> yeah. My, what does that mean? Yeah. Well, I, I had a famous brother, you know, I guess it would make more sense. It, who's impressed with Tom and Harry? No, they want Tom, Dick and Harry. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Will he ever change? I guess Probably he not. believes he can't or won't enjoy new cheese. Hall had changed. See, also, his you know what? Let me tell you something about Hall lifestyle. Worrying about everybody else's problems, just <laughs> wanting them to be better. <laughs> just like I wish he would just stop digging at those rocks. You know? Yeah. Well, he's gonna keep digging. Yeah, though. he's doing that. You have to just let him dig at the rocks and not think about it. Yeah. Leaves. He knew the change wasn't always good or necessary. Okay. Ha used to believe that his cheese should never be moved and that sudden change wasn't right. Now he realized that most change didn't happen all of a sudden and that it could lead to something better. Oh, he could it? He knew it was good to go into the maze to find new cheese. This is like a run for 30 minutes a day advertisements. Because this is really like if you do run for 30 minutes a day, I think this is you kind of get a clear head about yourself. That's true. When you change what you believe, you change what you do. Ain't that the truth? I guess. I don't Yeah, this obnoxious ass cheap. motherfucker though. At work it's at your job, there. getting paid the same ass money, but doing all that extra thinking. <laughs> yeah. About like, hey gang, we got an opportunity ahead of us. Yeah. Let's yeah. think about this differently. Stop hemming. You know? We don't want any more hemming. Hem lifestyle is to be like, whoa, 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 this this company bends around me. Yeah. I don't bend around this company. Yeah. That's the that's the hem lifestyle. <laughs> he 
he hoped that Hem might see the need for change and find his way through the maze by reading the handwriting on the wall. Oh, that's a good idea. And follow the markings Hall left for him. No, you're you. psycho, dude. He kept hoping. It's not you're, nice, but... You're, yeah, it's like me writing in the middle of the night, writing things down for the morning, and then being like, oh, God, I hope no one sees this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it isn't very nice, but hopefully Hem gets his shit together. Hopefully Hem doesn't die at the end of this. Yeah, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I don't either. Now Ha had let go of the past and was adapting to the present. Where's Scurry at? He was pursuing his sensible Yeah, the mice vision, just disappeared. himself finding new cheese. And then one oh, that yes! motherfucker slammed on the brakes. He was like, what? Uh, Look at all that cheese. I'm going to steal it from the rats. Yeah, the mice are like, oh, fuck. If we kill him, his buddy won't find him. <laughs> If I'm the mice, I'm killing this guy. If I'm the mice, I'm black. Ba- yeah, this, this they're a liability. Yeah, yeah. Hem and Haw are too much. One day it happened. Piled high everywhere was the largest and most delicious looking supply Not for of long. new cheese Not for long. Haw had ever imagined. Wow, new cheese. Fuck yeah. Is it real or just my imagination? Hey, it is real. New cheese was out here all the time, just waiting for somebody to find it. Where's your boy at, Hall? You gonna leave him sitting back there being negative? I don't know about this. I mean, yeah, what do you think he has to do? Do you think he's gonna have to, like, put him down or something? I think what I think is gonna happen at the end of this is Hem is gonna kill the motherfucker that's moving the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's my hope. There's going to be a bunch of calculations all over the walls when he goes back. And he's going to be like, ah, oh, ah, oh, it was you. You moved the cheese. Oh, if Hall moved the cheese. And he just beats that's, his head in with a shovel. That's dark. Mystic River As style. Hall enjoyed his new cheese, he reflected on what he had learned from his journey through the maze. He wrote on the wall of Cheese Station N, change happens. They keep moving the cheese. They've only moved it once. They can't also can't say shit happens because this is a cheese world where that doesn't happen often enough. No, it never happens. Anticipate change. Get ready for the cheese to move. Why? Monitor change. Smell the cheese often so you know when it's getting old. Gross. Adapt to change quickly. The quicker you let go of old cheese, the sooner you can enjoy new cheese. I'm trying to get out of here. Enjoy- That's why the people decided they needed to quit the job. These yeah. things are also all lining up to being like, I got to get the fuck out of this place. I'm not going anywhere. I'm hemming. Yeah. Right now they really like, there's no option. There really isn't an option. You are either hemming or hauling, you know? Yeah. I, I, I don't think that, uh, I don't think Hall is making a good case. No, he's not a healthy per. He doesn't seem like a healthy person. No. And just beyond even just eating cheese. Right. But he doesn't seem like mentally healthy or anything no. to me. You know, he doesn't seem happy. I mean, he's happy that he's like on his way to cheese this whole time. But he's happy f- for no reason. He d- He's not. He He in his mind this whole time. He doesn't know if he's ever going to eat again. You know? Right. Like, it's not like when he went, if I, here's the fucking thing. If he had taken him with him on that earlier trip and then they found that empty cheese room, that would have destroyed Hall, him. That would have destroyed him. Okay. Because he'd be like, they, they keep moving the cheese. There's no fucking possible way there's any more cheese here. They're two, two steps ahead of us now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Joy change. Savor the adventure and enjoy no. the taste. No, not when it comes to my cheese. food. Yeah, if there's I know. a change up in my food, I am not enjoying. I'm that. not savoring. No, that. I the savor way, food. If not I gotta adventure. go back to 88 cents bread and fucking Velveeta slices, off-brand Velveeta slices, I'm not enjoying that change. No. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Be ready to quickly change and enjoy it again. They keep moving the cheese. They. That's the thing. They. Who's they. Like, they. They're your boss. Yeah. The person showing you this is like. So, hey, little rats and mini humans stuck in a maze. Do you understand that you're never going to get the cheese from us? You know, we're the fucking cat that's going to slash you. 
We move it. We're the ones that move. We're the moving shit. the cheese. Here's the thing. You come to this job every week. You're like, oh, I get my cheese. I like my cheese. I'm comfortable with my cheese. Guess what? We're going to move your cheese. Yeah. And it's going to be a thing we're going to do forever. You know, we're always going to move your cheese. Who moved my cheese? I had it sitting on the banister and then it (laughs) fell or it rolled. Who knows? It's just moved. (laughs) Maybe it fell out of my pocket. I had a bunch of cheese there. I had the best Gouda right in my pocket. I seem to misplace it. I'll cut you off a slice when I find it. But I need to enjoy the hunt for new cheese. <laughs> right? Oh, I've never enjoy enjoyed the it. hunt for new cheese. Yeah. Get used to scarcity, Brian. Yeah, I know. When you go to the store, you're like, I just have to be faster and stronger than every other mouse out there that's getting the cheese before I am. Also, eat the mice. They're made of meat. Yeah, Maybe. that's true. That's true. Change and win. Move with the cheese. I that would be the move oh. right there. Oh, wow, man. He is a f- scallywag. He's shady as fuck. Yeah. He left him behind. And now he's hanging with the mice. For like, those of you that aren't watching on the, the video, uh, they're all sitting, relaxing underneath umbrellas on a big pile of cheese right a now. cheese umbrella. They got a cheese umbrella and probably one of those Gardettos sticks. They Snacks. Got, oh yeah, yeah. They got a ba- they got baby bells surrounding them. But now he's just friends with the now. He's Hall just is like, like me and the rats are boys. You know, I mean, you know, it's just toxic people. You got to cut them from your life when they're hemming. <laughs> it's like you know, it's not just this one time when he wouldn't look for the cheese. It would be like when we wanted to go to the Ham- movies, he would have an excuse why we couldn't go to the movies. When we wanted to do anything, he was always hemming about everything. So it's just like I had to leave people like that behind because <laughs> Hall has different things in his future. You know what I mean, Sniff and Scurry? Yeah, it's Sniff and Scurry are like, oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 gosh, I don't fucking know, man. You well, think too much. Week, yeah. Writing on the wall. Will he ever change and win? <laughs> Let him die. It's the way of the fucking mouse. That's what they're doing. You, it would be easy for him to slip back to his. Oh, now he's doing inventory. He now Hall's doing inventory so on day, everything. He inspected cheese station N to check the condition of his cheese. See, he went. Now you fucked up. He didn't even go look for his boy, dude. He didn't. He didn't. No. He could have sent the mice to go get him because they <laughs> yeah, can find it fast easier. As fuck yeah. Yeah, and they don't have complex thought. He could have done all this stuff. Ass. Yeah out into the maze and explored new areas he knew it was smarter to be aware of what was going on around him rather than to isolate himself in his comfort zone go get your friend then ha heard a sound of movement oh shit out in the maze. oh shit could it be him it's the motherfucker that stole the cheese him comes crawling around the corner digging his nails into the tile just like i knew i would find you <laughs> You're a rat just like them. <laughs> I hope Ham just Hem. hits him over the head with a fucking baby bell. Yep. You know what I mean? Knock him out the box. Fuck it. Ha hoped, as he had many times before, that his friend was finally able to move to the new cheese. Dude. And enjoy. He's it. dead. They killed him. They did. He left him to starve. Or is it a new beginning? He left his mentally ill friend to just fucking starve to death, beaten away at a rock. That's and bleak. He, it, that is real psychotic to just be like, everybody I left behind is doing fine. <laughs> or not doing fine. It's no, like- he assumed they're fine. Like he, he, I hope, bless his heart, I hope he finds some cheese. You know, if I'm living in the maze, if I'm living in this maze, right? And, and, you know, he doesn't come within like two weeks or so. I'm like, he's dead. He's skelly. He's dead as fuck. Yeah. He's been dead. You might smell him later. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. What if they, you got to start thinking about what if they reload cheese station C? You don't want a fucking carcass there. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly. also, dude, you like, you show up to the new cheese station. There's cheese everywhere. You're having cocktails with the mice. And you're eight days in, and you're like, oh, fuck, man. Time, I really got away. That celebration of finding the new Chase Cheese <laughs> Station. What's Ham up to? I hope Ham's okay. I hope he's fine. He's not. And he's then, dead. And then it's three days later, you're 11 days deep, and then you don't, you just accept it. Like, you have to, you just bury it deep, you know? 
Yeah, Hem you doesn't show back up. You let your friend fucking up. die, Hall. That's it. What a lesson. What a great fucking lesson. You let your friend die. And you didn't get your dream. It, the, the he didn't lesson, even get his dream. No, he didn't. He never... He, he got nothing. He's a, he's a rat. He's living like a rat now. Yeah. <laughs> he basically earned the life of a fucking mice. He competed against another human for the right to live like a fucking mouse and in took a race. the mouse side yeah all right that's who moved my cheese who moved my cheese we'll see you uh you know it'll probably be another yeah. pre-recorded show for for probably a three weeks i think a few but you'll be able to uh you'll be able to see us yeah you know? we'll be around we love you peace